always taught to believe that those Japanese like flew straight over, like knowing they'd run out of gas and just eventually crash and murder or kill or whatever, right? But like I found out they actually took over like a base that wasn't far from Hawaii first. So they probably had a lot more opportunity to fuel up and stuff. So like the narrative I grew up learning turned out to be slightly different. Sure. Because, yeah, the Johnston Atoll was like a man-made barge that they put in the middle of the ocean. So there's like no way that Pearl Harbor wasn't like warned Mm -hmm. by their barge. Yeah. (laughs) So yeah, some like, say. Yeah, what is the uh, what is the narrative that that some they knew about our government knew about that and it could have been avoided, right? That, they I say think some people. Knew I about personally it. believe that our government made like a trade off with the Japanese government. The elites of our government were working with the elites of their government because it's all a money game, man. Mm-hmm. It's everything is about money. By them attacking Pearl Harbor, what did that do? We got to test out nuclear weapons, yay! Mm. Like hooray! Yeah, and then you it's know a what? great excuse, convenient excuse, right? Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? The first uh, nuclear bomb testing was, or where it was done, was like... Arizona, right? It was a McDonald's farm ranch. Like a McDonald's family. For I'm the restaurant. 100%, I'm not 100% sure it was a McDonald's family, but I can only assume... You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it would make sense. Who else would it be? It what could have been McDonald's one of the co- What about one of the Koch brothers? It could have been one of their farms. Yeah, yeah. The hamburger. <laughs> Either way, it's like, wait, one of these Fortune 500 companies was involved in nuclear weapons? And then I just start looking at that McDonald's, and we were talking about symbolism earlier and stuff, right? Yeah. The McDonald's logo almost looks like a bomb with a trajectory. Can you find out where the first nuclear bomb test was in the U.S.? Or a McDonald's logo <laughs> conspiracy. Mm, either one will work. I, I already, I'm going to make it like a song eventually where it's like the giant arches, but it's really an expl- I, th- I think I've already got it in a sketchbook somewhere. It's just not like done properly. The world's first nuclear explosion occurred in New Mexico. South of New Mexico. Who owned it? Did Ronald yeah. McDonald own it? Oh yeah, it was called the Trinity site. <laughs> Ronald McDonald. The Trinity site. Hmm. Is that what it's called? Bro, I saw a video on Instagram the other day, uh, like Kelly Slater reposted, and it was a, an underwater nuclear bomb test where they showed a nuclear bomb going off underwater, and it was fucking insane. The water went, like, miles into the air. That's crazy. Some Must have killed so many work, fish. Uh, they exploded a microwave out back. Your friends did? <laughs> when yeah. did they do this? They've done it a couple times, but this was the last time, I'm pretty sure. How? Steve's not working there anymore because he got a different job. And then um, I guess the police got involved the last Where time. Where it worked? <laughs> Somebody oh. at the bus stop was worried about shrapnel, and because everybody went into denial mode, it got... How would they go about blowing up a microwave out back? Well, it was just a broken microwave, and they had like... Just stick some, some tinfoil in it? Some metal in it? No, it, it wasn't functioning. It wasn't uh. plugged in. It was just like something to put quarter stick of dynamite. In. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? yeah. Put I dynamite in it? Cause Allegedly, I, I'm already terrified of like anything. You're, par- you're schizophrenic? <laughs> no, no. Well, I don't know. They could probably diagnose me that if they wanted to. Yeah. What yeah. do you diagnose yourself with? That's the most important <clears throat> thing. Happy. I'm just joking. I'm miserable. You're miserable? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't know. I'm doing all right right now, figuring some stuff out. Everybody's confused this day and age with, are we going on lockdown again now? Yeah, I Is think that- we are going on lockdown. We're, uh, Florida, I think, took the prize again for a number one I don't know well, what the stat is. Every deaths, other member of every other state coming Yeah, I mean, here. everybody's here. <laughs> yeah. We're what do now- you think about the, the COVID-19? Did you uh, get contagion it? Contagion theory or contagion? What was <clears throat> that movie called? Contagion. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Of course, I don't. I haven't had television in my home for like ten years. That's probably good. And I'm staying with my father temporarily, and I was like flipping through channels, and the only thing that there is to watch is like all oh, this terrifying, horrifying news mm-hmm. or contagion. Contagion. <laughs> that was the only thing on the other night in South Park. Which is really accurate. Which is the as best the news. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But yeah, it's I don't know. I think there's a lot of stuff going on. There can be a lot of misguidance and a lot of 
uh, our society likes to f- follow <clears throat> a platform, and I think we have to be able to move within and without the platform, or like, yeah, our society just has like a process they like to run with, and I feel like they're gotta stick to elim- the story. They're eliminating any other possibilities, like even that that condominium in Miami. How yeah. crazy is that shit? Like dude. what happened? Yeah. Uh-huh. And nobody's worried about like, was there slum Lords like running the place? You know what I mean? Like, why isn't that a topic at all that I've noticed? Yeah. It got blown over pretty quick. It seems like, well, it was more about recovering the bodies yeah. and identifying them. Mm, not about nothing. the problem. Yeah. No. So, um, well, they did. I think they did. I saw something that they were going to try to like, change some sort of rules when it comes to the like maintaining the infrastructure of hotels and like like high rises along this yeah. like the ocean along the coastline but at the same time i think the i think the i think the mandate or the rules are that they have to have some sort of like structural inspection i think it's like every 20 years maybe 40 40 years yeah it's every 40 years they have to have some sort of like some sort of What's a structural inspection. A structural sure. inspection. Just like your elevator has to be inspected every three years or whatever. <clears throat> so I think they did something about that. I'm not 100% <clears throat> sure, but there's got to be so many more buildings that are like that, <clears throat> that are so com- that, that are structurally compromised, well, especially also, next to the ocean. the way that it ocean. fell down, like watching it, it didn't look like... It looked like Building 7? It, it lo- <laughs> ding, ding, it ding. It kind of looked like... <laughs> I don't know. It all fell down at <clears throat> once. It didn't makes yeah. sense as far as my brain thinks <coughs> yeah. about things falling apart what were what the other potential possibilities <clears throat> of why it collapsed like a controlled demolition of some sort like yeah. what what was in there what were they hiding in there what yeah, did, why what would did they, they get rid of that why would they do a controlled demolition oh, actually of, a, a friend of mine at work told me that i should look into this but i never got around to it and it is a lot of speculation but a friend something. what is this who's this guy Oh, uh, just a coworker okay. that doesn't co-work with me anymore. Okay, he got fired. <clears throat> no, he actually moved for on for stealing money out of the register. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, but he, yeah, he brought it up to my attention. He was like, "Oh, there was some idea that a lot of the people that were living in the buildings were related to people <clears throat> that knew information about they were certain QAnon? things." Oh, yep. Yeah. It was a QAnon convention <laughs> center there. Yeah. I, I forget what I heard too, but I heard something like there was certain people in there of interest or yeah, some family people members with some documentation or that something. Could I can't some remember stuff that they wouldn't want other people to know. That seems a little crazy that they would they would demolish a whole building <clears throat> full of people. Yeah, over what the like condition that. of the building? Well, there could be a different reason too. I guess like there could be money. But does everything have what to be a conspiracy? Owner, does every every fucking weird thing that happens have to be a government conspiracy? I think there's a problem when everyone thinks it.